Yo, how's it going, my soul brothers and sisters? It's Mike, your friendly neighborhood raw vegan. Today I'm gonna show you what I'm eating today. I eat some of the same things every day, sometimes different things. Um, it just depends on what's in season. Right now, got these lovely, big, fat, juicy cantaloupes in season here in Kentucky, along with some other melons, but I've, I've been finding a lot of cantaloupe. So this is uh this is less than half of a cantaloupe. This cantaloupe's about 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds. That's like 10 kilos. Um, and I eat one of these cantaloupes like every day. It's the first thing I eat. Um, first thing I eat in the day is, uh, is a cantaloupe because it's like immediately starting my day off with uh, hydration. You know, when I wake up in the morning, um, I'm not, I don't want to eat like some bananas or some nuts or something like that. You know, I feel kind of thirsty. I've been sleeping all night. You know, my body wants to rehydrate. So cantaloupe or a, a watermelon, any kind of melon or a juice or something. I love to hydrate myself. Um, when I wake up. So uh, so yeah, I got this cantaloupe here. As you can see, very, just, I mean, I wish you could smell it. I wish you could taste it. Um, and I keep these cantaloupes in the fridge. Um, I put a cantaloupe in the fridge uh, the night before I go to sleep. And then when I wake up, it's, it's cold and it's so, it's so nice. So much more refreshing when it's cold. I think it makes it even sweeter, honestly, just my opinion. When a cantaloupe is cold, I think it's, it tastes more sweet. Maybe it brings out the flavor or something. So I've got this cutting board and I chopped up some pieces of cantaloupe. And then this part in the middle here is kind of the more sweet part. So I just like to eat it with a spoon. And so I did this twice already. Right now it's uh, it's 444. That's a cool number. Um, it's 444 PM. I thought it was, I thought it was earlier. <laughs> So all I've had today so far is cantaloupe. Um, like I said, I cut up some cantaloupe and then I ate it with a spoon. And now I have the other half of the cantaloupe, cut that up, ate it with a spoon. So I probably started eating about uh, maybe noon. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to eat super early. I can, I can wait um, till 12 or 1 p.m. or something. Uh, I think I started eating around 12 today and yeah, I had some, I had half of the cantaloupe and then I was doing some work on my computer. Um, went to go help my uncle move all of his stuff, his bed and chairs, move, move his stuff from uh, downstairs to upstairs with my cousin. So uh, that cantaloupe gave me enough energy to do a lot of heavy lifting. Um, and then I just went to my therapist. Yo, if you can find a good therapist, like a good therapist, that is, that is nice. Therapy is nice. Um, so, and now I just came back and now I'm eating the rest of this cantaloupe. Um, and after that, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what's next. All right, what's up? Fast forward four hours and 15 minutes. And now I got some grapes. Um, I've just been mostly, uh, doing work on, um, on my computer and my phone, like all day. It's been the last couple of days, just doing a lot of work. I've been working on, um, some projects of mine. I'm creating a like raw vegan community. Uh, I'm going to create like a private membership group where people from, you know, whatever you're struggling with, whatever it is that you're trying to improve you're going to be welcomed into this group everyone's going to support each other keep each other accountable um everyone's going to be sharing recipes sharing inspiration motivation i'm going to be in there uh you know coaching people sharing recipes sharing all my tips and tricks and my experience of uh of being raw for two years being vegan for four years and all the other diets that i've tried so um yeah, I'm also in the process of uh, trying to 
get my YouTube channel to monetization, um, which I'm almost there. We have like 960 subscribers at the time of filming this. And I just need maybe a couple hundred more watch hours. Um, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to do this like as soon as possible, just trying to get monetized. Um, so if you're watching this, please support me. If you feel so kind, uh, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, give this video a thumbs up um, and watch it and watch some of my other videos. If you see anything interesting, um, really trying to get those watch hours up, up, up. So help me out if you can, and I will help you out however I can. So yeah, it's 9 p.m. now. I got these grapes. Um, honestly, if you saw my juice fast video, I broke my 35 day juice fast um, about a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. Fuck. And it's been kind of tough. Um, I was really content and really happy with uh, how I was feeling juicing. I felt really light all the time, but I still felt strong. I was just feeling really good. Um, and since I've broken the fast, the, the floodgates of like going back to, to food cravings have just, have just tried to, tried to come on to me. Um, so I'm really just trying to fight through food cravings. I may need to go, I may need to fast again or do a water fast or something. I don't know, or I just need to be more disciplined, but, um, yeah, just going into the grocery store. I was just in the, I was just in the store and. You know, I just had the temptation to get all these salty nuts and all these different things. So it's not easy. Food addiction is a, is a real thing, whether you believe it or not. It is the most, most common addiction in uh, Western society for sure. And the most overlooked addiction. So, um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough out here. And yeah, I've been making some, some questionable eating choices lately, uh, some, some weird eating combinations and my stomach has not been feeling great. You know, I went on a 35 day fast and it kind of reset, you know, my gut and my digestion and, uh, eating some weird things, um, like nuts or just weird combinations in a salad or something, uh, makes my stomach feel not good. So I'm just going to eat grapes tonight. Keep it simple. Um, I know there's going to be some people watching this that are like, what the hell? Cantaloupe and grapes, you know, that's not enough. That's not enough diversity. It's not enough protein. I'm not worried about, about answering that. Um, if you know, if you know how human biology works and you know anything about anything, <laughs> then you know, it's, uh, it's okay to eat fruit. Um, it's okay to eat a lot of fruit. And it's okay to eat, eat, you know, 100% fruit, you know, some days. Um, I'm not recommending that people do that uh, every day of their life, but um, it's okay. Fruit, fruit is good. It has a lot of, uh, has a lot of great properties, great vitamins and minerals, and most importantly, it's hydrating. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't count calories. I don't, uh, you know, I might eat. 500 calories one day and 4,000 the next day. Like, it's just, you know, I just, uh, I do what I feel like doing and I like to experiment with different things. So that's my style. Call it what you want. Um, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to enjoy these grapes and I hope that wherever you are, whoever you are, wherever you're from, I hope you're going to enjoy your meal enjoy your day enjoy your evening um enjoy your life i love you and uh thanks for watching this what i eat in a day cantaloupe and grapes pretty simple stuff um yeah stay tuned for more weird videos and uh thanks for watching peace